Hello guys, happy Tuesday. It is a beautiful, beautiful warm day here in the wonderful Cleveland, Ohio. I have friends over and Kevin is entertaining while we do this. So hopefully you guys can hop on. I don't see anybody on just yet. Let me see if I can invite some people. Get this started. Bow, bow, bow. All right, guys. Um, so hello, Caitlin. How's it going, girlfriend? I hope you guys have your drinks ready because it's a Tuesday. And I don't have to work tomorrow, so here we are. <laughs> All right, hello, Ange. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte, hello. She is brand new on our team. Welcome. We are super excited to have you. So I'm going to be talking to you guys tonight about host coaching. And I've got quite a few things I'm going to cover. We are going to focus on parties. Oh, my God, my hair. It's going up. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm a boy but it is hot here in Cleveland and this is just how it's going to go. So, this is it, this is what you're getting. I love you guys and I don't care how I look. So, there we go. We're gonna talk about host coaching tonight. We are going to talk about parties all week long because parties are the answer to your problem. If you are having problems hitting numbers, if you are having a really low month after a good high month, um, if you are having problems with your customer base, if you can't find anybody to host a party, parties are your answer. If you don't have anyone else to ask to join your team, parties are your answer. Yes, Ange, very 90s. I am a 90s baby. I am guilty. <laughs> so let's talk about parties. So in order to book parties, there's so many different ways you could do it. I always focus. I ask three people to host per day until I get the parties that I need. So I fill out my calendar. I have the Sensi Agenda Binder calendar, whatever you want to call it. You can literally get any kind of calendar though. I use washi tape to mark my parties. I have another one here that I booked today that will go in there. And then I also write it in on the days itself. So first thing you need to do is book the parties. We will talk about that more, but I wanted to go live about host coaching with you guys because some of you already have parties booked and this is the first thing you're going to do to set, my gosh, the first thing you're going to do to set your party up for success is host coaching. If you don't host coach, there is a significantly higher chance that that party will not be successful. So this is a huge part of, part of it. Host coaching done properly equals party success. So the first thing I have my customers do is they start, or my customers, my hostesses do, is they start off by creating a wish list. I simply message them about a week before their party starts, even if it's just like four or five days, message them and be like, hey, whenever you get a second, can you send me a wish list of all the Sensi products that you would like to get half off or free um, through your party? That way you can kind of gauge excuse me, you can kind of gauge exactly how much PRV you're going to need. So if you have someone, let's say that they want two warmers, they want a six pack of bars, they want a, a counter clean, a Scentsy soak, and they also want, I don't know, a fragrance flower. That's going to be a pretty big party, right? Because, you know, they want two warmers, they want six bars, so that's already over $100 of stuff that they would want. And then they also want a fragrance flower and counter clean and Scentsy soak. They've got all these products that they want. So the first thing you want to do is get a checklist or a wish list. I'm sorry. Get a wish list from your customers. From there, write all of it down. You could write it down right into your calendar under the date of their party. Get, write down a wish list, guys. Get that wish list of your from your hostesses with what they want to earn. So now look at your host rewards. This is something that if you go to your web, your PWS information's on there. If you go to your workstation, information's on there for host rewards. If you have a 200 PRV party, you're gonna get 
one half off item, a perpetual party reward, and $20 in free stuff. But that's not enough for her to get all of that stuff. You want to hit a $500 party because when you have a 500 PRV party, that's $75 in free stuff. That's going to cover both of her warmers or all of her non-warmer products. And then she's going to get three half off items three half off items not even including the perpetual party reward so from there you make your party goal you show her we'll see if we have a 500 hundred dollar party yes angela yes if we have a 500 hundred dollar party you get free shipping and any of your friends that order from you that are local that can pick up at your house also will get free shipping and you will only have to pay do the math. So if someone, let me write on the back here. So say she did two forty-five dollar warmers, pack of wax, fragrance flower, counter clean, and a scentsy soak. So that is ten, twenty, eight, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So okay. So she is going to pay a hundred and sixty dollars for her order if she was paying full price. Now. If she had half off items, she could pay, she would only pay for half of that, if not less. So that's when you do the math. You know, she's gonna get $75 in free stuff. She's gonna get three half off items. So you could do half off the warmers, you could do half off the soak, half off the counter clean, half off the fragrance flower. You can save this girl a lot of money. And when you set a goal for your, woo! <laughs> when you set a goal for your hostess, a lot of people are competitive. You don't realize how many people are truly competitive until you set a goal in front of them and you say, listen, if you were to have a $500 party, you would only pay X amount of dollars when without a party, you would pay $160. You would save however much money, do the math, I didn't do the math, I'm not that quick. Um, but you let her know, this is how much you would pay if you had a $500 party. This is how much money you would pay without the party. This is how much money you are going to save. So that immediately sets a goal in their head. That's a goal for you for the party. That's a goal for her for the party. And she's gonna wanna save as much money as possible. So that's gonna give a fuel to her fire to send out messages and invite people to the party and really kind of get things going. So that excitement when you share that with them is extremely contagious. So. Um, do, 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 do. I like to do that about a week before. You could do it four to five days before the party if you want. The next thing that I have them do, this is specifically for, um, specifically for online parties because right now that's what we're doing a lot of just because of quarantine and everything else. Sorry guys, I'm sweating. I know it's gross. Um, I have the host personally message 20 to 30 people to invite them to the party. 20 to 30 people because only about half of those people are actually going to show up to the party. Only about half of them are going to respond and say yes. So if you ask 20 people, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have a Sensi bingo party. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a great distraction. Do you want me to add you to it? about 10 people are going to say yes. If you ask 30 people, about 15 people are going to say yes. So that's why you overshoot. Yeah, maybe the, every 30, per, like there's no way that you ask 30 people and all 30 of them show up. That's not how it works. So if you only ask five to 10 people, only two to five people are gonna show up. That's not going to be a good party. You can't have a $500 party with two to five people. That's not possible. I love the perspective, guys, and your optimism with that, but it's not, it's not logical. So um, you wanna have the hostess personally message people for a lot of reasons. For one, it makes people more likely to notice your party. If you just mass invite people, chances are they won't see the notification. Um, chances are, if you just mass invite people, first off, they're not gonna see the notification or they might be like myself, where if someone invites me to a party and they didn't talk about it to me beforehand and they just invited me and I never talked to them, am I gonna buy from that party? No. Hello, Julia, you beautiful face. You're late, but it's fine. You can catch up. Um, so when you mass invite people and you don't personally message them beforehand, you're going to rub them wrong they're not going to want to participate. They're not going to want to place an order with anybody. And what's going to happen is, or they just don't see the notification at all. They have no idea. So that's one of the reasons why you have to have your hostess 
personally message people beforehand. The other thing, if you have a party of 157 people, do you really think your hostess messaged to 314 people? No, there's no way. She didn't personally ask them. Now, the other thing is when you personally ask somebody to join a party before you actually invite them, they're more likely to purchase. They're more likely to participate because they want to support that hostess. Nancy down the street does not know me yet. She doesn't know me but she's best friends with the hostess or she's cousins with the hostess or she's married to her brother or whatever the connection may be. They don't wanna buy from the party because of you. They don't know you yet. They will know you, they will love you, but they don't know you yet. So that initial first reaction to that party is the invite. They have to be personally invited by the host through a message because that's what creates the connection huge, huge, huge part of it. Do not, under any circumstances, let your hostess mass invite people. If it happens, personally message your hostess right now and say, we're going to start a new party. I can't have you mass inviting people. It, and it does, it messes with the algorithms. If you have a 200 person party and they obviously, she didn't, mess, she doesn't message everybody. No, you're not going to see the notification for it. She just mass invited her whole friends list. Start over. Tell the girl the same thing. If they're not willing to message 20 to 30 people, and I give people the script. I tell them exactly what to say, and I will comment it in the section below so you guys can see it. Um, but if they're not willing to do that, they're not willing to put any work into their party, and they're not going to be a good host. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so start over with that. If they decide they don't want to put the work in, okay, go find another host. Maybe they're just a good customer. Um, the other thing is when your hostess has that goal, they are way more likely to actually participate in the party. They might even go out of their way to post things in the party themselves. Don't be afraid to ask your hostess to post in the party page, whether it be for a home party and it's an event you set up, or it be an online party or a bingo party. People react to the hostess because that's who they know. That's their friend, their sister, their coworker, whatever she is to them, that's who they're gonna listen to. So maybe you give her some things to post and you say, hey, um, I know you really love counterclean. Would you be able to post a picture of what you use it on? Or, hey, I know that you recently bought a warmer. Could you take a picture of that warmer and post it? I'll tell you exactly what to say. That makes it personal, guys. The things that make parties work are the part of it that's personal. If you can go live in a party, it will succeed 100% more than if you didn't because people like person personability, especially, I don't know if that's a word, Especially now, people are craving and dying for human interaction because we've been cooped up in our houses for how long? It's not safe to leave our houses. So even though we are starting to get back into things, a lot of people are still not going over to their friends' houses or you know, going out to eat or they're only leaving the house for work. So they still are craving that. Um, that's a huge part. The other thing that I really, really need to emphasize for you guys is that it is our job as consultants to do the host coaching and to show and tell the hostess what to do. It is not the hostess's job to do all the work. Not at all, because they don't have access to trainings on this. They don't have sponsors to help train them on how to do a party. They don't have access to the workstation. They're not going to go watch YouTube videos about how to do a party. Guys, you train your hostesses how, you host coach them. You train them how to have a successful party. You tell them what they have to do in order to have a successful party, but you have to take care of the rest. You also can't expect them to have a successful party without training them. These are the things where you, you ask them to make a wish list. You set a goal for the party. You, um, you ask them to personally message 20 to 30 people. You ask them to add people to the event. You show them and tell them what to post. That is our job. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. So don't expect them to put all of that work in. Um, and not only with proper host coaching will you have a successful party. Guys, you will have a successful party, but this could be a potential consultant. If you have someone that is a really good host, like they truly went above and beyond, they completed all of the tasks you gave them, they followed, like they reached out to everybody, they set a wish list, they hit their goal, they posted in the, the, um, the party page, 
that is the person you want to ask to join your team because if they're a good host, chances are they'll be a fantastic consultant. You should offer the host kit to every single hostess that you have. Every single one. If you think they're going to say no, ask anyways. Because guess what? If they, if they say no, who cares? You just keep going about your day. It is so super crazy. Charlotte was a host that turned into a consultant. Guys, Jennifer Chambers, who was Jennifer Chevrier, was a host that turned into a consultant. Jamie Gillespie, host that I turned into a consultant. Guys, it doesn't stop there. And you can flip the party. You can give them the PRV. That sets them up for success to hit shooting star, to become certified, to hit their sensational start levels. So that is why this plays such an important role. Because if you have a host that turns into a consultant, you don't have to do nearly as much training with them. They've already seen how a party goes. They've already had their launch party because that party just became their launch party. They already have an idea of these things. So why would you not double dip? You're not, it's not carrots and ranch. You're not gonna get in trouble for double dipping on this one, guys, I promise. You can't spread COVID through double dipping this way. I promise. So that is what I have for you guys for host coaching. Does anybody have any questions? about host coaching, about what to say, when to say it, who to ask. Lay it on me, sisters. Lay it on me, what do we got? Emily's putting her kiddo to bed. Let me hear it, does anyone have any questions for me? Can you post a timeline? of like when I do things, yes, I will definitely, I will make a post in the team page after this and I will show you what I send to the hostess, what day I send it to the hostess and different things like that. I'll show you guys some examples of that for sure. Um, Kaylin, I'm sure you're making fun of my carrot reference because I think I'm funny. Um, but yeah, so what I do is a lot of it I'll throw into my binder or, you know, you just keep an eye on it and you can write on here. Let me find one of my old ones. Okay. So on here, like it says, Maria's bingo party, Maria's bingo party, her bingo party. And then the live bingo is here at nine. So I can put in here two days prior. I can write in here. I can say, um, reach out to Marie about messaging her customers. And on this day I could write in, um, ask Marie for her wish list. That is a huge part of it. Um, so Julia, when you ask somebody to host, it is your job to follow through with it. Um, it's your job to follow through. You have to reach out to them again and say, hey, so, and I'd say from the get-go, if someone tells you they want to host, I don't ask them like, hey, do you want to host a party? I actually have them say, like I offer them dates. I don't even, I don't say like, hey, do you want to host a party? I will say, hey, if you're interested in earning half off in free Sensi and getting your own stuff at a discount, I have this, this, and this date available for parties. Can I schedule you for one of them? It gets rid of the follow through because you already have them scheduled into a date and you put it in stone on a book. I will share with you guys examples of what I've posted in my VIP page, on my personal page, and when you give people a date from the get-go, there's no worry about the follow-through. You don't have to worry about them saying, oh, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore because they've already committed to a date. And if you say that, if they, if they don't follow through after you've put them in your calendar, do not let them host again. Hosting for them is a privilege. You only have enough time to do so many parties in a month. So get rid of that, move on, find a new hostess. You trust me, people are out there, people want a discount on their Sensi. I had so many people host parties last month that I never thought would have. And the other thing is, once you get that party train rolling, once you have people, you know, you get your June booked up, you have three to four parties in June, this goal is to book parties off of your parties. If people have fun at your party and they enjoy themselves and you treat them right, they, excuse me, I'm drinking soda water. It's giving me burps. Um, if they have fun at your party, they will want to do their own party. Um, Julia, I'm messaging you after this. We are scheduling you a launch party, girlfriend, a relaunch party, and it is going to be fantastic. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, yes, Kaylin, I will help you with different types of scripts. I will add that into the post. 
Angela asked, when you flip the party, how do you handle doing that? Can you flip a party and have them get the host kit? Yes. So what you do is, so our host kit in the US, I'm not sure with the Canadian price off the top of my head. I'm sure Kaylin can comment for us. Um, host party kit is $59 US. So $59 US. And if you have a $200 part, a 200 PRV party, you use the host credit on the flipping kit. So that means that they're only spending $39 on the kit. Now, if they have a $500 party, they're literally only going to spend $9 on that kit. It comes with a full-size classic curved gray warmer, a black raspberry vanilla bar, a set of washer whiffs, a full set of testers for every single product in there. It comes with catalogs, order forms, a consultant guide, everything you need in your business. 100% is what you need in there. And the bigger their party, the cheaper their kit. If you want to flip their party. It has to be done within the same month. So that means that if you have a party from June 1st to June 5th, you have to flip that before the end of June. You want to flip that ASAP. If you have a party that started June 29th and you close it on July 5th, you will not be able to flip that party because it started in a previous month. They will miss out on the PRV and any orders that entered in in June if you close it out in July. I hope that makes sense. But all you do is you close, so you add the host kit, make sure that the host information is in there. You need their email address, their phone number, their address. Um, you close out the party, you add the kit. It will send your hostess an email that they will then fill out. You will get an email afterwards saying congratulations on your new downline and from then you close out the party. The kit ships separately to their house. It does not get shipped to your house, it gets shipped to their house. They have to pay shipping on that kit. So keep that in mind. Um, they get the kit, you close out the party and then you just contact consultant support the next day or if it's a weekend, you contact them on Monday and they will flip everything over for you. Any of the PWS orders, any of the, the workstation orders should automatically transfer once you click the flip the party button. But we're the, good God, words are hard. Consultant support will switch over the PWS orders for you on that. Um, da, da, da. Okay. All right, look, can't spread COVID with double dipping. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, Julia, I love you too, girl. We got this. Kaylin, so the Canadian kit is $77 for the hostess. It should be the same exact contents. Um, so yeah, guys, this is a huge part of it. Huge, huge, huge part of it. A lot of this is stuff that I've known over the years. If you have questions about these certain things, feel free to ask me, but also play around in your workstation. Look up host kit, look up ho like party flipping, look up all those kind of things. And there should be FAQs that come up in your workstation. There's tons of information there. Um, but yes, host coaching is the first thing you have to do to set your party up for success. After that, it's you sharing products. Don't sell the products. Do not include price tags. I will again share with you guys images tomorrow about things, ways to post so that you're sharing versus selling. So that will be the focus for tomorrow. Tonight, I will get you guys a post with verbiage, a timeline, anything else you guys think of, put it in the comments here and I will add it on to there. Um, this video will be available for a replay. So if you didn't if you didn't get to finish it or you missed the first part of it, replay it. If you have a team member that wasn't able to log on, tag them in it afterwards to catch that replay, guys. I did this exact training for one of the star directors under Kelly Tenney and all of the girls have been like, oh my God, Vanessa, like I didn't even think about that. That's so cool. And they are already implementing it in June. It is not too late. If you don't have parties booked for June yet, start now. Message three people a day until you get to that goal of three to four parties. If you wanna do big things with your business and you wanna grow and you wanna be successful and you wanna make legitimate money, parties are your answer. We'll talk about it all week. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Contact me if you need anything. Julia, I'm reaching out to you and I will post as soon as I'm done with this. Have a killer, killer rest of your week, guys. I know you'll kill it.